Hi guys, this is Mary, and this is Harold Tolliver. Mm -hmm. We're back again with a different chapter of the book, Powerful Quotes. Hold the book up for him, please. Okay, is it right here? Uh -huh. And he is the author of the book, and I helped him get it together, you know, type it and, and send it off to Amazon. Mm -hmm. Okay, now today we're going to start Chapter 5, and Love and Fear. Mm -hmm. Harold will read you the introduction. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tolliver. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to start uh, reading uh, Chapter 5, Love and Fear. Uh, this is Chapter 5. This is not the beginning of the book, but it's, it's Chapter 5. Um, I... Well, I like to say that uh, I got the idea to to write this book, and uh, I've been something just came to me to just to write this book, and uh, this is my first book, and uh, I. I mean, I was guided to 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 write this book. So, uh, and I'm I'm very surprised <laughs> that I had written a book. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. It, it, it's just just a spirit, you know, that that guided me to do it. Yeah. You know? It has to be something to guide you to uh, write all of this work. Yeah. On notebook. A spiral notebook with a red ink pen. Who yeah. does that? I, you have to be inspired to do that. Yeah. And you started writing this in what, 2014? Or a long time. It took a long time for you to... Yes, because, uh, you know, when I had downtime on my job, I had to go to uh, uh, a room and, uh, and start my writing, you know. And uh, uh, I've done most of my writing on my job, so don't <laughs> tell nobody that. <laughs> like but, you really care there. Yeah. So uh, it's just that I just start writing, and I've been guided, you know, and it was just me doing the writing, and uh, and and I came up with this book. And uh, it's it's something spiritual about it, it you know, be, because I'm not a writer. <laughs> you really weren't a really <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> but uh, this oh, is uh, I I uh, uh, I just written this book and something that guided me to do it, and I stayed to it. I mean. It took me about uh, about two years. Longer than that. You know, uh, more. Yeah. Yeah. It took, when I look at your notes, you started in like 2011. Yeah. And we didn't do this book till about five years ago. So. Yeah. But you did it all in notebooks, notebooks. Yeah. And Harold would bring these notebooks and let me read them. And I said, oh, and I said, well, how many books did you have to go through to get all these different quotes? Yeah. And we have uh, almost 80 books listed, and I, I can imagine it's about 100 books that he read and copied the quotes that he inspired. He yeah, and a lot of it coming from the Bible, too. Yeah, some from know? the Bible, yeah. So, uh, you know, and I was just guided to do this. Yeah, you have to be guided. Yes, yes. And while I was looking at reading the notebooks, and some of the pages were kind of ragged and stuff, and I kept reading, and, <laughs> and I, I asked him, do you want this to become a book? And he said, can it? And I said, yeah, kind of hesitantly, but I knew it was going to be a lot of work. But I said, it can become a book. Yeah. And when he said, okay, then I had to, you know, put on my thinking cap and combine all these words that are on notebook paper, a uh, spiral notebook, and make it into a book. Yes, so yes. here we are, powerful quotes. Powerful quotes. And uh, if it wasn't for Mary, she, 
I, I, I done, I read this book, I written this book and, uh, you know, what, what got me to read, to write this book because Mary showed me her first book. And that's what oh. gave me the idea. And it wasn't even a book. It was on a computer paper and I printed yeah. it out, but it hadn't came into a book. He yes. said, you got the book? I said, yeah. Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I saw her when she read a book and she published her book. And, yeah, uh, it did. And she done it. And I said, oh, I write a book too. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I've helped so, several people write books. Yes. Yeah. You know, if I if I don't continue to do this in my age, I will forget. Yeah. You know, so it's it's complicated, but it can be done. I enjoy yeah. doing it. Yeah. But the creation of this book is still a miracle from the beginning when he started being inspired by these di different books he was reading. So yes, yes, we yes. want to continue to with chapter five and yeah, and the name of this book is Powerful Quotes. Powerful quotes. And uh, uh, it's this book guided me to to do it. Yes. And uh, and and I was, I mean, I written a book. I I I'm, I wasn't a reader <laughs> in the first place, <laughs> but something got in me, and uh, every day I go to work, I'm writing. And then when I go home, I'm writing. And I finally uh, finished this book. And uh, wow. No, you, you didn't finish it because you still write quotes down right now. And I have to stop and say, wait, wait, well, wait. No, it's I, gonna had stop. Stop. You I, had a, I, I had a stopping point. Okay. He so, still yeah. loves to write down quotes, but well, it's, it's, it's a, a good thing because, you know, it's always something good in a quote. And if you're constantly reading and you want to remember what you have read, and he would highlight all these books so neatly with uh, all different colors of uh, pens. Mm -hmm. So that's that's how he gets his inspiration because he highlights them. And it's easy for him to go back and write mm -hmm. down what, he's, what has inspired him. Yeah. Yeah. Well... I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and on chapter five, chapter five, and the name of this chapter is love and fear, and uh, I'm gonna give you uh, the writing and uh, lo about love and fear. In chapter five, it said what we think about expand upon, and what we focus on uh, trends to show up in our lives. You may create love where fear was. Everything that is not an expression of love is an expression of fear. Love is believed to be one of the strongest positive emotions. It is the opposite of the negative emotion fear. It is the highest positive frequency we can produce. It is necessary to know how to love, to love impersonally without egoism. Only love which is born from the perfect union of the heart and brain can be real. The, the, the love is immortal and eternal because it is within the vibrational field of the spirit. And everything spiritual is sacred, divine, eternal, and immortal. The law of love Pure love is not the emotional response we think of, but is a need to share, to communicate, and to give of itself to others. Love is the gift of the creative force. Um, love is the highest thought you can have. The essence, the essence of uh, material life is not in the constant uh, value of love, but in the desire for a leader to follow and uh, partic participating anticipating in love you live and participating in fear you die 
Love gives power and drive to your mental, physical, and spiritual energies. In order to experience love, you must be willing to risk pain in participating in love. You will live. In the participating in fear, you will die. You are the only thing that controls you. Love is the strongest positive energy we can send, we send out. So using it to tune into frequencies of your desires will prove favorable. Learn to trust the love of God. Okay, I got a few questions about that page. Okay. Oh, God. Participating in love, you live. And participating in fear, you die. So, I think we have to realize that there are only two emotions, mm -hmm. love and fear. Yes. A lot of times, you know, I'm just the scariest person in the world, but I, 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 I am kind of like a scary person. Mm -hmm. So, how how would you tell a person to operate in love? It, it would it be like giving up all negative thoughts so you can feel love, even even if you're scared to death. Uh, imagination, my imagination is what causes my fear. But what do you suggest to eliminate fear? Uh. To think of love. <laughs> <laughs> think of love. But, yeah. You know, it, it's hard to. Well, well, uh, you know, God created us out of love. Yeah. And, and God didn't create us out of fear. You know? Because, uh, okay, if, if we are, in the beginning when we were tiny, uh, little kids, we didn't know anything about fear fear until, you know, somebody scared us or something, but the toddler, the two-year-old, he's just full of love, don't you think? Because he hadn't experienced fear. Yeah, well, I'm looking at it from a point when, when God created Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in the beginning, and uh, all we got is uh, when Mary went and uh, you know, eat the apple. Uh, Eve. You mean Eve? Eve. I mean Eve. <laughs> Eve <sorry>. ate the apple. <laughs> yeah. Easy, yeah. Yeah. It's all because what? of Eve, you know. Yeah, when she ate and, the apple. And, and then the that's fruit. yeah. And uh I think that's uh that's when the fear came in. When, oh when Eve okay. Eaten the forbidden fruit. Yeah. So that's kinda like okay, when a child does something that he's not supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, unless you pop them on the hand or punish them, they don't know that they've done wrong. So what do you think God did to them to make them, ooh, I messed up? What, 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 how did man become aware of his wrong? Well, was it, conscious that he was guilty or what? How, how, how well, did that... uh, it got, when, when, when he went and uh, the, the, when the devil, uh, what what's that word? Beguiled her. He beguiled her. He beguiled her uh -huh. to eat the, the the forbidden fruit. Okay. And uh, when she bit the fruit, mm -hmm. the apple, as it said, according to the Bible, and uh, she she had a feeling that came through her mm -hmm. because the 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 devil, uh entice her to 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 bite the, the, the taste of fruit the taste of taste the fruit and uh and something came into her and uh she gave it to adam well, whatever came into her do you think was fear or love since there's only two emotions which was it well uh yeah i think it was fear because uh, the devil enticed her to take, you know, to bite the, the fruit. Let, let me interject something. I think 
Eve felt nothing. And she it was the fruit tasted uh was pleasing to her eyes. But when she gave it to Adam and Adam was standing right there with her. Mm -hmm. And when he ate it, I think he was the one who was condemned because God told him Eve had never met God. She didn't. She just knew it by what Adam had oh, said. Okay. No, so, yeah, Eve didn't know nothing about this God except what Adam told her. And then, if I'm putting myself in the place of Eve because I'm a woman, mm -hmm. but if Eve felt like Adam, like the average woman feels about a man now, mm -hmm. she probably felt, oh, he lying. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Because that's what he doing. He lying. I'm gonna go ahead and eat. And he was looking at her, and he probably said, hmm, she didn't drop dead. I'm going to get me some, too. Mm -hmm. But when he tasted that fruit, his conscience came, he became guilty because he heard God tell him. It's just like uh, you were told to certain orders, but uh, the other people who had never heard it, it's not going, you know, the day you eat, you will surely die. Adam knew that, but Eve didn't. Mm -hmm. So he had to experience nothing but love and a good feeling. But Adam, when he did it, I think he was condemned because he could probably hear God's voice saying, didn't I tell you not to <laughs> eat that apple or eat that fruit? That's just my little take on yeah. that. But, uh, hmm. That's something to think about. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to turn the page. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, I'll read one. I'll read two pages and you read the other two. Okay. Okay, it says, The bipolar universe, love and fear, yin and yang, them, us, male, female, good, bad, etc. The human race constantly vibrates between these two opposites. To love is to give and express, expect nothing in exchange. Love is an animal, and it must reciprocate with love. If it resists love, it will destroy itself before it can harm you. The animal is far more conscious of this condition than the human. Mm. Do that make sense? Let me read that again. Well, hey, I, you know, I you don't even remember that, do you? I don't remember that. that. Yeah. Hey, let me read that again. It says... I'm going to read the other one too, both of them. They yeah. seem to go together. It says, to love is to give and expect nothing in exchange. Love is an animal, and it must reciprocate with love. It re if it resists love, it will destroy itself before it can harm you. The animal is far more, more conscious of this condition than the human. So what does that mean? Mm. That it must reciprocate with love. If it resists love, it would destroy itself before it could harm you. So does that mean like, oh, say a person is just mean and just ugly and he refused love. Mm. You think everybody in the world hates him and oh, I don't care, I'm going to go to jail, I'll just kill a bunch of people. And if it resists love, it would destroy itself before it could harm you. Mm. But how, what does that mean? Because the angry person, I guess if you full of anger, anger, that's how you destroy yourself. Right, yes. That makes anger. you resist love. Because mm. anger and fear go together. Mm. Yes. Boy, I guess we got to understand that. <laughs> okay, and we'll, we'll marinate on that. Okay, it says, Compassion and wisdom are the highest form of love. So let everything you do be your religion and everything you say be your prayer. Mm -hmm. We must make the law of love and light a way of life. If you want to go to heaven, get on love. Love will take you all the way. 
by love I heal, mm. and by love I live. Ooh, that was interesting, that. I mean, like, oh, I like that. I do too. My, my love, I heal. My love, I live. I live. I yeah, love. I got to like think about love. Yes. So, so that's the, my love, I heal. My love, I live. So you know, when you think about the times we're living in now, do you think it's harder to love than what it used to be, say, 10 years ago or 20 years ago? Because you, I, I, we see so much negative yes. in the world. So much it's like, oh, who, who loves? You don't see too many people in passing that has that love. Mm -hmm. And I guess, I don't know, the news and everything else give you the negative side on the street, you know? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a lot to think about. Yeah. Yeah. By love, I heal. By love, I live. Oh, oh boy. I'm, I'm a, that, that'll stick with me. By love. love the, the, the word love is powerful. I mean, it's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, by love, I heal. By love, I live. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I say, I say, yeah, no, no, don't, don't, don't go there. Don't, 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 don't say it. Yeah, don't go there. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, in the harmony of all that exists, choose love. Part of this law of love includes the love of yourself. Self love is not a negative, selfish concept. Uh, selfish concept. Okay, I'm trying to. Why is there? Love is a not. Love is not a negative. Yeah. Selfish concept. Yeah. It's not. Love is not negative, and it's not selfish. Yeah, it is the basic of self-esteem, and is vital to how before one can love another. Love is the greatest cohesive power in the universe. Oh, okay. The it universe. Is the universe yeah. love. Yeah, love is God. <laughs> God is yeah. love. God is love. Love not the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the word lust of the flesh, flesh, excuse me, and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. John, uh, John, one. My first John. First John. Uh, second, second chapter, second chapter, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, that's that's oh, that's in the end of the New Testament, yeah. first, second, third John. I forget about that. Yeah. yeah. So love is the light of the world. Truth is the search for the light of the world. Love casts out fear. Our true power is our ability to generate and be love. Okay, say that again. Uh, love is the light of the world. Mm -hmm. Truth is the search for the light of the world. So truth is the search for the light. Huh, okay, what you think about that? Truth is the search for the light of the world. Yeah. So that's like Jesus is the light of the world? Or? Yeah, it's, it's of love cast out fear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So our true power is our ability to generate and be loved. Mm. Be loved. Let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves have been born of God and knows God. First John 4, 7. Okay. That's in the Bible. The voice for the heart is always truth, love, simplicity, and service. Love is greater than good deeds. Love open your heart to one another. 
Love makes you your growth complete. Love brings you closer to God. Be open to God in love, and he will guide you to a good deeds that need doing. You cannot make love happen by doing good deeds. We love life, not because we are used to living, but because we are used to loving. Let me ask something. It says you cannot make love happen by doing good deeds. So I thought that was a part of it, doing good deeds. Uh, you're supposed to be showing love, aren't you? Uh, it has something, something else you have to do. Be open to God and love. He will guide you in. He will guide you to good deeds that need doing. You cannot make love happen by doing good deeds. Open, be open to God in love. So that's being open to God in love. Okay. Yeah, you have to have a different reason for doing good deeds, I believe. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's a lot of we have to go back over it. Just well, let me read this here a paragraph. It said, be open to God in love, and he will guide you to good deeds that need doing. You cannot make love happen by doing good deeds. Hmm. Be open to God in love. And he will guide you to good deeds that need doing. Mm, okay. And it's also said, you cannot make love happen by I doing good, good deeds. Oh, okay. I it, It's like a catch-22. Okay, read the next one. We love. Yeah. We, we, we love life. Not because we are used to living, but because we are using, we are used to love. Okay, that, that, that fills it out. Yeah, it does. It answers that yeah. question. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay. We should have kept on reading. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going to interrupt anyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we got it. We got it. Okay. So find the frequency of love eternally and resist all negativity. You must be willing to give in order to receive. Remember to take a moment to be thankful for everything you already have. If you want to create a abundance, abundance in your life, then focus on love. Be the love you want to attract because more loving and, gener and generous with others and with others yourself there is no order of different uh in the universe there is no order of difficulties in the universe yes so it's not hard yeah please don't forget to love some part of yourself <laughs> okay. i like that yeah, look into that okay let's see here how much time we spent Mm, I, I, I like this book. I do too. Because it's, it's it's easy to to read. Yeah, little bitty uh two line quotes. Yes, yes, yes. I like it like that. Yeah. It says the next one says the most perfect and life giving emotion is love. It is the greatest healing force in the world. Love fulfills the law of its own. To give is to gain. Mm, to give is to gain. What do you give? You gain love. Okay. Mm. I guess. Uh, if we work in the spirit of love, we must have God's presence and consciousness. To be one with life, love, and wisdom is to consciously, is to consciously contact love. Mm. There is no other power in the world but love. It is the only true power in heaven and on earth, for it is eternal and everlasting everywhere. The outer will pass away, but love shall forever be, for it is the omnipresence of God. The ultimate power is love. It is a cosmic glue that holds everything together. 
and the manifesting force behind all creation. The glue that holds us together is the love of the Creator, and that is what makes us all one. There is a song that says, Love will keep us together. Who sings that? Love will keep us together. Uh, love will keep us together. Yeah. Who sings that? Don't forget. I forgot too. <laughs> so, seek perfect love and you will be transformed in the process. Perfect love sees Christ in all. When you live in love, you are actually are resonating a higher frequency and that's how you raise your consciousness and act activate more codes in your DNA structure. Fear, hate, and negativity are the reason why we currently have only 20 of 64 possible DNA codes uh, activated. Mm -hmm. When you function in love, you, your inside creates your outside. When you function in fear, your outside creates your inside. What? Say that. When you function in okay. love. Mm -hmm. When you function in love, your inside creates your outside. Yeah. When you function in fear, your outside creates your inside. Yeah, make you have high blood pressure, you get sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you function in fear. So where true worship is, is where the self lies. Mm -hmm. True worship. Yeah. True love begins with the love of God and finding joy in doing what is right. Your very word, thought, and deed shall reflect your love of the Most High God. Our weapons are true, and our, our perfect faith is God. You must love self, nature, humanity, and God. That's how to use love against hate. Let me see something. Yeah. Yeah, I many more pages. Cause we can do this. Let me say we don't have that much to go. We only have two or three. I think we can wrap this up okay. in one session. Don't you think? Yes. Yes. Okay. What did you say? Now it's right here. You stop. True love begins with the love of God. Yeah. Did you know that? Uh, yeah. True love begins with the love of God and finding joy in doing what is right. Your every word, thought, and deed shall reflect your love of the Most High God. Our weapons are true, and our perfect faith in God. You must love self, nature, humanity, and God. That how to use love against hate. Okay. Because death is not the biggest fear we have. Our biggest fear is taking the risk to be alive, the risk to be alive and express what we really are. Are you serious? Death is not the biggest fear we have. Our biggest fear is taking the risk to be alive. Oh, okay, it's a risk and you cannot fear being alive because when you're afraid of being alive, that means you're afraid of death. And if you're not afraid of dying, then you love living. When you fear anything, you will end up hating it. When your fear is gone, love is present. Love and fear cannot exist together. Hey. You must yearn to say something loving, but you tighten up. This is fear. Hmm. Fear is taught by all religious leaders. What? Oh. Fear is taught by Fear all. is taught all by all, all religious beliefs. Belief. Oh, oh. Well, I take that, but not all, because when you get into the Buddhism, they do not teach fear. Mm. They don't. 
because fear is a negative force. Buddhism doesn't teach that. I studied it with uh, Buddhism and yeah. they don't. That's the only one. And the Hinduism, I studied Hinduism. They don't teach fear either. Yeah. The Western religions, like I said, the Muslims and the Western religions teach fear. Yeah. I said fear is taught by all religious belief. I relax by belief, by trusting in God and overcoming fear. And that's what you're always telling me. You say relax. Mm. I feel better. So God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Timothy. That's my favorite scripture in the Bible. God has not given us a spirit of fear. Mm. And what you always say, what the preacher say. I'm a God-fearing man. I'm a God-fearing man. <laughs> They're scared to be Jesus out of you. Yeah, it do. <laughs> He's scared to death. I'm a God-fearing uh, man. And then the Bible yeah. says, God has not given us a spirit of fear. Yeah, man. I hope the Bible is still going here. Yeah. We have to talk a little bit loud because the air conditioner is doing, the fans are doing something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, say God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. 11 Timothy, seven one, Timothy. Yeah. 1 and 7. seven. Uh, say all enemies are within us. Fear is your greatest enemy. Fear blocks our reasoning, uh, self-knowledge, and empowerment. Fear is only programming. It's not really a natural state. It exists outside the self. Fear is anything that makes us feel feel bad. All fear is the same thing. Hmm. It makes us feel bad. All fear is the same damn thing. <laughs> is that in the book? No. Oh, I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> So we understand it better. Yeah. Bye, bye. Yeah, fear is anything that makes us feel bad. All fear is the same damn thing. Yeah, so that's my, you, that's me. That's what I say. Yeah. That's true, though. Yeah. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. So fear is bondage. Bondage. Uh, bondage. Oh, okay. Conquer fear and be free. Mm. Fear. False evidence appearing real. Yeah, that's the acronym for fear. Yes. Do not fear. Even feed, feeds on fear, which is its weapon against us. Read that again. It says, do, not do not fear. fear. Evil, Evil feeds, feeds on fear. Which is its weapon against us. Oh, evil feeds on fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get people who are just evil and mm -hmm. they want you to be afraid of them. Yeah. Our situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, see, if you are constantly fear, uh, fearful of something, you giving it energy. Uh, through your, through your thoughts and run the risk of attacking it. Fear is self-created. Hmm. Self-created. Wow. God, the Almighty Source, did not program life for you to be filled with fear and sickness unto death. That is not the divine plan that is yours. That is not the divine plan. That is yours. Mm. Fear which distort the power to reason and disconnects you from godly communication. Fear produces attack. Love produces harmony. Hell is an invention of the church. <laughs> Hell is an invention to control people with fear. fear. That's true. Hell. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like that when you're little. You yeah. don't go to hell. 
for lying. Yeah. Okay? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hell, that, that's what they scare us with. With hell. I don't want to die and go to hell. When you fear, when you feel fear, you feel it as a physical thing, which is what it is. That's physical. Yeah. How did it have to be physical? I thought it was in your mind, fear. Uh, but it fear, makes you... It, fear can be physically in your mind. <laughs> I'll say, because yeah. if, it, if it's physical, then you act and do something stupid yeah. because you are afraid. So, but do not fear. Oh, do, that was the cell phone. do not fear. Fear is a negative reaction that empowers the lower energy entities and separate you from your connection to the God source. Remember, you are a spark of the essence of God, and God has no fear. We'll say that again. God, they said that, remember, you are the spark of the essence of God, and God has no, no fear. fear. Therefore, yeah. you have no fear. Fear does not exist in the mind of God. So it sure. should not exist in your mind either. Wow. Whoa. Tell it. Well, we're not going to be worried about time because. Hmm. Well, we won't because it's just one, two, three, four. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the next stone when fear, fear erodes? Um, okay, well, uh, we haven't read that. Oh, okay, therefore how? Yeah. 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 Do not fear. Fear is a negative reaction that empowers the lower energy entities and separate you from your connection to the God source. Remember, you are a spark of the essence of God, and God has no fear. Therefore, you have no fear. Fear does not exist in the mind of God. So it should not exist in your mind either. Fear erodes the health and the well-being of the person in whom it resides. Fear can paralyze. Fear can cause failure. Fear can block courage and the capacity to learn new things. Fear is one deadly poison. Mm, that is so Damn. true. Fear. Damn. That is so true. That's what we are all dealing with now. Fear. Fear of damn mm. is one deadly poison. Oh, yeah. So get the fear out of you. Don't do not fear. Fear will make you stay in the house. And fear will uh will destroy yourself. It will, man. Mm -hmm. This is a so damn. do not fear. <laughs> not fear. Oh boy, this this telling me it's something. It's telling me oh something. I missed my page. What did I miss? I don't miss my page. Mm -hmm. fear. Let me see. Um, what tapping? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> I got away. Yeah man. Well this thing blowing me away. I, I read this book, man. I'm glad that uh, I'm reading this book because this 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 thing is teaching me. I didn't think about teaching. Uh oh, it's the key is to remember. I I can forget, and then it's making remember what fear. Like I said, I I stay in the house all day. Yeah. Because I don't want to get out. Well, you know what I didn't told you. You know what that thing I told you. What. Remember not to forget. <laughs> Remember not to forget. That's the key. I always forget. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Mm -hmm. uh, we stop that. I don't even know. Maybe that's a sign for us to quit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then, then what I can do is go back uh, when we do this other one, catch up next week. We'll I'll listen to where we stop. Yeah. But I really enjoyed this chapter oh, man. about love and fear and. You know, when you think about people, how they are afraid, and even the people that's going around with these guns shooting people, and so they are afraid too. Because for you to pick up a gun and don't, you got this thing in your mind, some kind of fear. Mm -hmm. 
I don't understand it. I really don't. But it, it is contagious. Fear is contagious. Yeah. I believe it is. Yes. Boy, I tell you okay. so. Well, okay. let's, let's end this and uh, we got, um, we'll, we'll come back. Next uh, week, you think? Yeah, next week. Okay. Yes. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Mm -hmm. And remember, you can get this book, Powerful Quotes, uh, on Amazon. Just go to uh, Amazon Powerful Quotes by Harold E. Tolliver. Okay? So we'll see you guys next week. Enjoy yourself. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm learning. Me too. I got to remember what. Oh, God, you're funny. This yeah. is good. Oh, I tell you, it's a lot. All right. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I live my life in fear.